Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I just got done with my live stream for the RTX 30 series launch, uh, and I'm pretty blown away by what they're offering. But guys, I want to really talk about some buying decisions before you guys go off and start to pre-order these cards once they are available, uh, because I think that there is some stuff that you guys should definitely know when it comes to making smart buying decisions for all of these cards. So one of the most helpful things that Nvidia actually put on there is the compare and contrast thing that they have on their website, and it compares all their 30 series, their 20 series in 10 series and 9 series cards uh, together and shows what kind of features that they are going to have. Now guys, if you're looking just for straight up performance, if you are a performance freak and you just need the top tier of performance, then that is what Ampere is going to offer you. All right, Ampere is just going to give you the most just because of the architectural improvements that it has over the previous series of cards. So then I would recommend getting a 3080 or 3090. These are actually some fairly well-priced cards. The 3090 is taking place of the Titan card, which used to be a $2,000 card, but now they shaved off $500 off of it, uh, and I think that that's a very, very good value proposition for a card of that caliber. As well, the 3080 is at $700, which is, again, really great uh, for a 3080 series card. It's, again, it's still expensive, but it's at the price point of which most people are considering buying a 3080 can't afford. Now, 3070 is where gonna be a lot of people are gonna be buying. The $500 price range for a graphics card is around what most people are probably going to be considering when buying a brand new GPU. But this is where I think that you guys need to sit down and take a look at the older series of RTX cards. So if we just look at the differences here in terms of features, all right, the only really difference that we have here is that you only have one multi-streaming processor, which isn't going to mess uh, with just performance in general that much. It shouldn't be that big of a problem, and if it is, then, you know, get a 30 series card. But when it comes to all of the brand new features that NVIDIA was pushing out during the video, uh, which seem extremely promising, all of them are supported on the RTX 20 series. Another thing, if you still are using an Intel CPU and don't want to upgrade to a Ryzen, because uh, I do not think that Intel is going to be releasing a PC i.e. Gen 4.0 um, CPU anytime soon, you're going to need a PCIe 4.0 GPU, especially if you're going on the higher end of these kind of cards. Uh, so if you are an Intel guy, you're still sitting with Intel, I would definitely recommend just buying an older RTX 20 series. So if you're looking to get a RTX 3070, just make sure to sit down and scour other retailers like Micro Center, Amazon, all those other places that are selling, are still trying to sell these cards that they are discontinued uh, and that most people are going to be glazing over. I think you guys can definitely get some pretty good deals on cards like the 2080 Super or 2080 Ti even uh, if you're considering getting something on the low end of cards and for those of you guys who are okay with buying used parts off of sites like ebay or going on like offer up or something like that and just checking out what your old cards are going to be able to you know be bought for i definitely think that buying from the used market is going to give you so much more value i mean being able to get a 2080 ti uh for roughly 700 dollars shouldn't be that far off from the mark because again the 3080 is going to give you around the same performance as a 2080 Ti, except just with a little bit less VRAM, but I don't think it should matter too much because this memory supposedly is a lot better as well as you're using a lot less power and it's coming in at $700 as a base price. So I think that getting the 2080 Ti for you know less than $700 is going to be pretty easy, especially in the used market. So guys, just be conscious in what you guys are buying when it comes to these new series of graphics cards i'm so excited to see these things i actually even might buy one for myself and i hope you guys enjoyed the stream if you guys liked the video like the video uh subscribe to help support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace